I definitely think the motorhome will break down 100%. No doubts about it. I don't think the motorhome will break down. I don't really think we're gonna make the whole trip back home. Surely we'll make this trip. Surely, surely. Man, have we worked a lot for this. This is a trip I've dreamed about doing my whole life. Once in a lifetime opportunity. We may not have this chance again. So. Stop. Oh my gosh. I felt my soul leave my body. <laughs> Only fans with my feet. What are you doing? <laughs> Your five head's showing. You got this packed. Just in case. <laughs> are you scared? Huh? Hopefully not misery. True American hero. Literally have it to the floor. Oh my God. <laughs> this is like my dream. We're stuck in another traffic jam. Woo! Catch my envelope on fire. Look, it's Vainia. He's under your seat. What's going on? Are you doing that? We need to find a gas station. And that's when we run out of fuel. I'm a little bit worried. Oh, oh my, my gosh. God. Nice five o'clock traffic here. To take a whiz. I don't know. You boys like Mexico? Falling apart as we drive. Basically making myself sick. You can't argue with facts, people. Woohoo! We just I made the wrong turn. circling over the motorhome. <laughs> Welcome back to the Sleeper Dude YouTube channel. If you've been following our renovations on this motorhome, we have finally made it down to leaving on our big trip. 5,000 miles in a $1,200 RV. Can we make it? Let's find out together. If you'll turn your eyes to this big delamination spot here, <laughs> we're planning on going from Tennessee all the way up through South Dakota, Wyoming, down through Colorado, Utah, Arizona, back through New Mexico, Texas, down the coast and back to Tennessee, which is, should be at least 5,000 miles. So first we're gonna show you a little bit of the work we put in to get to this point and some of the uh, ups and downs of getting here. So despite me putting a pole up to hold this thing up, it's still ponding back here and the water's not wanting to run off unless the camper's leaning pretty hard. So I've got these two pieces of angle iron here. I'm planning on running them at the front and the back, having them push up on it. I'm gonna run some screws in it and hold this AC unit up level, bracing it off the corners so that it'll drain off the sides. That's the plan at least. And I've cut it to the width of the roof and I've drilled holes where I can screw in this hood here. I'm gonna run some self tappers in that and we should have the AC unit up. We'll put another one at the back too. We'll push up on it. How about the other side? I got a couple limitations here. I can really only screw into these side braces. This is our worst spot. Obviously you can see this is where the water is puddling. Right. And I'm gonna run three or four screws in there. Trying not to hit the condenser core. That would be good. Yeah, push hard. Are you done? Push up on it. Yeah. Oh. That's the AC unit. That's the AC unit. It's done. I don't know how that happened. I had it. I thought I was way away from it. So I'm about as bummed out as I could possibly be right now. We're literally supposed to leave on this trip in two days. And somehow the corner of that screw, it, I don't even know how. I, I thought I was going to go in the open part in the middle and it tagged the corner of that and blew out this AC unit. Such a huge deal now. I don't know what I'm going to do. That's like the most important thing about all this was having AC that worked going out west in July. And an AC unit like that is probably $1,500 to replace. Thank you very much. Right. Well, I appreciate your help. Can't do it either. So I've called every AC place in town. It's a Saturday, so nobody can do it. They all say they, they're either closed or they'd have to order the parts to do it and wait for them to come in the mail. 
Go ahead and get it for you, it'd be about two weeks. So we're gonna start looking for portable AC units locally where we might get a couple portable AC units and put in this thing. That's our idea now. <laughs> oh my gosh. This was heading down at this angle and when it tightened up, it turned and hit this core right here. Yeah, but that's what happens when you think you got it all figured out. That thing was working perfect and I don't know why I had to mess with it and screw it up, but I did. And I guess this will be up here for decoration for a while. I got bracing the AC unit up done now. Tail firmly tucked, I'm headed to town to look for AC units. And we're probably gonna get one more new casing so we have new ones all around because that's what mama wants. Every bit of the life went out of me when that AC blew. Like all our preparation, I felt my soul leave my body. <laughs> I, I think I've seen it. That, that's like the most down I've been in a long time. Well, this makes sense. They only have one size left. Looks like somebody has bought every other single AC unit here. Right. So it looks like Walmart has better deals in stock, bigger ones, so we're gonna go there. Well, we're at Walmart now. I guess here goes 500 bucks, huh? And this is literally the last portable one they have. Everything else is window AC units. One, so hopefully it'll be big enough to cool our setup. Well, that wasn't nothing. $600 wouldn't fix. Where are you headed? No, no, that one's newer than ours. <laughs> hey, what's another two hundred dollars out of the envelope after this? You know, you gotta have to start sending pictures of your feet. I know. I'm gonna have to do OnlyFans with my feet or something. I feel like we have to paint this yellow to match the other one. You know, we can't have an oddball. Yeah, we can't. We need to have a full set of school bus hoops on this thing. Don't worry, honey. I got it. Tell I usually open stuff before we even get in the car or right as soon as we get in the car. I hate leaving anything in the packaging. Or like them little clear protectors they put on screens. I love taking those off as soon as I get it. Peel it off first. I just gotta take it off right now. Oh yeah, L4. <laughs> it's your L2. It's... Oh, L2. <laughs> And there's actually a plug-in in this closet, which is where the factory refrigerator would have been. Look at you making it all legit looking back Look. there. Look at there. <laughs> You're hitting the bracket. Uh, if you go straight. Well, I'll try. You need to back up and punt. so we got it plugged in and working got our vent hooked up my plan is to put this thing up in here and maybe mount it somehow for right now disaster averted and we got pineapple lumps from australia so we're gonna let this thing sit here and run and see how well it cools the rv while we go inside it's gonna be in the 90s today so one more thing we're fixing here at the last minute we super glued up a crack in here that looked like it maybe got busted from freeze busting in the rv or whatever we're gonna put this nicotine soaked thing back together now oh and my see gosh. If it works or not. Did our super glue work? Hey, it's not spraying. It was spraying out like crazy before. We fixed it. That'll work. Is this your hammer? What are you going <laughs> What are you, elf? Well, that way, hopefully that thing won't fall out on us. And it can still blow air right here in the middle. Feels pretty cool in here. I really thought when it blew out, I was like, well, there goes our trip. Well, we can't just put this on here gray with all our other ones being yellow and stuff. I should have done this while the casings was off, shouldn't I? Yeah. Well, your five head's showing. Quit, quit. That's amazing. You sure that's dry? No, it's not. Not at all. We got time for that. If you do it this way, the paint gets on the thread and it acts as a lock top. Mm. Man, it just feels right now, you know? It just looks like there's a school bus somewhere sitting on blocks. Well, we put Rocky a hay bale out here while we're going. We're gonna miss you, Rocky. But Mimi's gonna take care of you, okay? You and all your babies. Mimi's going to give you some animal crackers while we're going, okay? Well, we've been working on loading this thing up all day long. We got a lot more packed up in here. Pretty much every drawer is packed now. Hopefully none of them fall down from being packed. 
I got tons and tons of tools. Uh, oh, we got this packed. So got that ready to go. We got tomorrow to finish up stuff and then we gotta go. Taking the title, just in case, <laughs> just in case we need to sell it on the side of the highway exactly. somewhere. I'm excited about the hot springs that we're gonna be going to and probably the like games that we're gonna be playing. And I don't know what the motorhome will break down when we come. Probably like maybe halfway it'll like stop and that will probably fix it and we're gonna keep going like he always does, like a miracle. I packed my skates, my skateboard, my medicine I have to take, my lip gloss and all my makeup, do whatever I want. I don't really think we're gonna make the whole trip back home. Dad will go on his motorcycle. And like, yeah, we broke down on the side of the road. I think that I'm gonna miss Rocky. Well, I'm not gonna miss him chewing on my hair. Even though I don't hang out with him much, it's just like, we do not have connection. So I'm excited about going to the hot springs. I've never been there and I think it'll be like really clear water and stuff, you know? And I'm excited about going to Yellowstone and stuff. I don't think the motorhome will break down. I think it'll just do perfect. Cause I'm not like dad where he's just negative. <laughs> yeah, I think it'll do fine. I'll pack like a volleyball and a basketball and stuff like that. It's gonna be cool, it's gonna be fun. I think we'll make the whole trip and like make it back home. I think it'll do like perfect in the motorhome. I'm gonna miss Rocky. I don't know who wouldn't. <laughs> I'm most excited about going to Yellowstone because I've been wanting to go to Yellowstone for a long time, like a really long time. So that's gonna be really exciting. I definitely think the motorhome will break down 100%. No doubts about it. <laughs> I think we might make it back home, hopefully. I'm definitely going to miss Rocky. It's gonna be sad for three weeks gone without Rocky. I'm gonna, I'm really excited about the trip, so. Hopefully, the motorhome won't break down. We've been working and working and working and working so hard all day and night on this stupid thing. It's been crazy hard work. It's been so hot. It's just like a sauna in that thing. So I'm glad that part of it's over. Hopefully, we don't have to work on it anymore surely we'll make this trip like all the stuff that we fixed in place surely surely we'll make it i have a lot of anxiety about leaving home for more than just a day or two so that i battle with because i really have issues with not wanting to be away from home scooter gets to go with us maybe that'll help me not be so worried about everything but mimi is going to take care of rocky and i mean he's he'll be spooled yeah i'm excited Man, have we worked a lot for this. Basically every single day since I quit my day job, this is all I've been doing is working on this RV every day when I'm not editing. Obviously they did some work without me when I was editing, but man, we have worked ourselves to death to get to this point. The fact that I blew out the roof AC unit two days before we are supposed to leave, that was a big bummer for me. I'm still haven't recovered from that one. This is a trip I've dreamed about doing my whole life. You know, my grandparents and dad and uncle went on this same kind of trip, my great grandparents in a Vista Cruiser station wagon. And I always love that story. Watched way too many Western movies. So I'm really probably most excited about going to some of the old Western towns, Deadwood, South Dakota, Tombstone, Arizona, bunch of uh, ghost towns out in Colorado and Arizona area. I'm really excited about that. I'm excited to go to Roswell, New Mexico. That's gonna be cool too. Seeing some like dinosaur fossils and stuff. I'm assuming that we're gonna have some minor breakdowns possibly, but I really hope and pray we don't have any major breakdowns. I really hope we make the whole 5,000 miles without a major breakdown or major expense on trying to get back home. Me and Wawa have made like pages and pages of things to see while we're out there and circled stuff on maps. That's what I'm most excited about with what I packed. I'm excited about doing a trip like my dad and grandparents and great grandparents did. I've always wanted to do something like this and this is like the only time in my life so far that I've been able to do a trip like this to be able to have the time to do it. I never could leave my job for more than five days. Being able to possibly take a three week trip is awesome. We've never done a trip like this so it's a huge deal for us. I feel like it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. We may not have this chance again, so I figured we might as well spend the money and time and take the risk and do it now. Well, I should feel either much better or much worse by tomorrow night. <laughs> uh, it's six o'clock in the morning. 
We're getting ready to leave on this big trip. 5,000 mile trip in a $1,200 motorhome. That's 31 years old. I really hope this works out. Even got a whole map of the new United States with me. Are we all packed up? Yeah. Ready to go? Yep. This yeah. has been like, what, almost a month now in the making? Uh, getting to this point? We can't leave without giving the animals a little snack and telling them goodbye because we're going to miss them for three weeks. Yeah. So. Yeah. We're going to miss you guys. Mmm. That's her favorite. We're going to miss you, Puddins. All the baby Rockies. Granny's probably already been to Yellowstone and back, I bet. <laughs> Went back before it had paved roads, probably. All right, Rocky, you be good. We'll bring you something back, okay? Load up. Are we ready? Are you scared? He's okay. We are so packed in here. We're not RV people, and I think we're used to having stuff like on the countertops, and I'm thinking that's gonna change throughout this trip. Missouri, here we come. Hopefully not misery. Uh, oh, dad joke. Well, I guess we're as ready as we're ever going to be. Ralphie, you filled up the freshwater tank? Yeah. I see it spilling out, so I think it's full. <laughs> <laughs> He's already in his bed, shaking to death, scared. Got your red hots, emergency red hots. We haven't even rolled on these new casings in the front, so. Hopefully they do good. Well, here we go. We're getting on the interstate. Uh, we're going to try to make it to St. Louis today is our plan. Fingers crossed. Mm -hmm. Asheville, Nebraska. There's like a dinosaur site there I'd like to see, but that's the first big sign on the map I want to see. Of course, the very first stop is for fuel because we only have a quarter tank of gas in this thing. Our motorcycle tank's empty. Our spare gas can's empty. Our generator probably needs a little bit, so we got to get a bunch of fuel first. Well, the blinds are chattering, so that means we're up to interstate speed. We're going to probably try to go on like 60, 65 on the interstate. Our new casings are doing good. Can you believe we're actually leaving to go on the real trip now? No, you can't believe it? It's just weird. It doesn't seem real, does it? He loves me. It's the bacon pie, I get it. We have not put hardly any interstate miles on this thing. It'll be interesting to see what our fuel mileage is. Uh, I'm going to say I get better fuel mileage than the wife does while we're driving. I love truck stops. I don't know. My dad used to always stop at truck stops. I love them. They cut us out at 125, so I'm going to have to start over. Well, it ended up being 140 bucks in the first fill up, so. But that was including the, the motorcycle. Got a little bit of a fresh water leak. We're heading towards Chattanooga, Tennessee, and then up towards Kentucky and St. Louis, Missouri, hopefully. I'm going to have to guess where it is, but I can't even see where my hand is. I guess if we forgot anything now, but we'll just buy it. Yeah, it's too late now. It's too late. We'll just figure it out later. That man right there is a true American hero. Ragtop Cadillac with a trailer hitch on the back. We're coming into Chattanooga here. A little weird driving something this big for me. Well, first time using our whoppers. Oh, that's pretty neat. It sounds like a slide. At least we put new ones on it. Exactly. I don't think you, you can't get rained on if you're stopped in traffic. We have absolutely no reservations whatsoever. We don't know what days we're going to make it where, depending on where we stop or, or anything. So we're just going to try to find campsites as it gets later and hope for the best. Maybe we might end up at, you know, Walmart parking lots or whatever on the other time. It's lightning. It is lightning outside. It's starting to come into a thunderstorm here. Got rain on our lens. You pull the headlights and the backup camera goes out. Well, we made it to Georgia, kids. Woo! Uh, we're heading towards Nashville, guys. Woo! It's shaking like crazy. The traffic. This, this is not the first time he's ever been in a vehicle. We are taking places all the time. The railroad bridge above it. Jeez, this is cool. Oh, this is cool. If it'll make it on this trip, we'll feel good going anywhere in it. Uh, yeah, across the whole United States. Yeah. yeah. If it makes it, we'll drive this sucker everywhere. And we got our food and drinks back there in the ice cove, keeping cool. Make sure to visit their website, icecovefreezers.com. Use promo code SLEEPERDUDE. So we kicked her out of overdrive here. We are headed up on Eagle Mountain now. Go we there. We basically burned a transmission up going up this mountain. We spit all our transmission fluid out the top of the truck stop. It had 
had to get towed home, so I got her out of overdrive this time. I'm gonna pull it with the air on, 55 miles an hour, probably turning 3,000 RPM. I don't wanna take it easy on it. If we're having trouble, I wanna know it. I can't believe it, but we're actually gonna pass some people going up this mountain. They got a little bit heavier load than we do, though. I literally have it to the floor, but we're running the speed limit, 55 up this thing. I can't believe we're passing anybody up this thing. Back into overdrive, headed down the hill. The trans temp is 180, we're good. Hopefully we don't do that. Look at our temperature after going down that mountain. It's like on the peg on the seat. Baby, I cooked you some. <laughs> oh man. Not even a Vienna. First meal in the RV on the road. Look at that truck, Ralphie. Well, we're in our first traffic jam coming into Nashville. I'm not good about sitting in traffic jams. Thoughts on the fact that we've made it this far? We're good to go now. I feel so much better. Like, we're good to go. we've made it all the way to Nashville. I mean, we've been on the road now, what, three and a half hours or something? So far, so good. And yes, they're just like normal kids. They've been arguing nonstop over the games and the food and everything else. Wawa. Look, look, look up here. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> this is like my dream. Oh my God. We, ain't been, we, we ain't been past the Tennessee limits and I haven't <laughs> seen this yet. I already done this year. Well, that's your Batman building. I think it's AT&T. That's like a big plane. There's a Nissan Stadium. Is that where those hot ones fly? Is that soccer? We made it out of Nashville. Now we're heading towards the next major city, I guess, is St. Louis, which is where I was hoping to try to make it today. Is that weird being right next to semi trucks out your kitchen window? stuck in another traffic jam now north of Nashville. Ralphie snuck up here in the passenger seat for a minute while mom went to the back. What's out there? What do you see, Scooty? I'm glad we brought you for security. Man, I hate traffic jams. We are slowly crossing the Tennessee line into Kentucky. If we could just make it a few more feet. We've got some speed up now, 15 miles per hour. Kentucky! Two claps and a red flare! Woo! Guys, we're getting off at Oak Grove, Kentucky. We went through that tank of gas. We're gonna get our second fuel stop here and we'll see what our gas mileage is. You might need to go party. Look how much different it looks here already in Kentucky. A lot of it's big farmland. farms here. It looks, we need to, we might need to move to Kentucky. And this is the middle of a cornfield here. Uh, I guess I'm gonna shut this thing off for the first time in four or five hours in now. Hopefully I don't catch my envelope on fire. Put the yeah, in. probably will. Scooty was about to bust. So I went around and checked all my casings and bearings. Everything looks good. Checked all our fluids. Hadn't even used any oil. We picked a good time to do this considering fuel's never been so expensive in America. And we're in the least fuel efficient vehicle there is probably. There you go, 26.2 gallons, 114 bucks. Let's see what our mileage is. Seven and a half miles a gallon. Oh my geez. So you're happy with seven and a seven half? Seven and a half is good. And that's going through the mountains. So that's pretty good for the first one. Man, I love truck stops. Especially all the stuff they have. I love this stuff. Back on the road. He wants to sit with daddy so bad. He does love <laughs> to sit with me. Back on the interstate into a traffic jam. We got road work through here. I love traffic jams. Every like squeak and rattle or vibration, I feel like they all oh, something's wrong, but it's, it keeps doing great for us. Like, I keep thinking I'm hearing something, and it's like, no, everything's good so far. Oh, wow. Why don't we 
parking too good? Yeah. Things you never think you'll hear. Yeah. Oh, there's a big, there's a dam to our left. Kind of cool in it. The shower door fell off the head. Yes. What? It fell off the. What the heck? Why did you say something? Well, the showers are going to be a little less private from now on. We're going to fix it. Oh my lord. We're going over the Ohio River. I used to live on the Ohio River. That's like a bar. Man, it's a big river, isn't it? Guys, we are in Illinois. Two claps and we a are. Woo! Oh my gosh. So, you guys have never been here. I don't know that I've ever been here. So well, this is Metropolis. This is where Superman's from. Oh. Are you sure? Yeah, Metropolis. That's yeah, where he's from. Right, Mom. Look at the water tower. Superman's on the water tower. Really? Yeah, Metropolis. Woo! Almost Woo! Superman. Yeah. <laughs> Can I find Superman? He flies. He could be anywhere. I think the camper in front of us has a trolling motor. I believe that's what that is on the top, on that big pole. Big Good wife's over here panning for me. First time editing. You'll change it all, I'm sure. <laughs> Look, it's Vienna. We're in Vienna, Illinois. Can you believe it? I need to pour one out for my homies here. I saw a sign back there for a Vienna Diner. I bet they got barbecue. I ain't eating there. Bourbon barbecue. I ain't eating there. They don't even try to take me there. Hey, they, they probably got jalapeno, you know, chicken Vienna's. I cannot believe how low the temperatures run on this thing. It's like once the thermostat opens, she just stays open. Because it does not heat up unless you're pulling a hill. We're pulling a pretty big hill here. I had to kick her out of overdrive for a while. Oh, look. There's a Menards. We've never seen a Menards before. I'm in case of the curb. That's the top moment of the seat. Like right up here? Yeah. You can see everything, Cam. Yep, he's under your seat. I believe it. He always wants to be close to me. Look at all the cornfields. Where are you from? Now we're not here. Uh, I'm ready for a bounty sandwich. Hey, put the air on me. Can you believe the cruise control even works? Hey, this thing is just. Oh, we're um, you know, except for like the shower door falling off and the glass about to vibrate off the seal. Right. It's amazing. Give me some Cheetos. Cheetos. Come on. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like a thing where we say we're going somewhere, but we really don't do it. Like because it broke down? Yeah, I think we're always doing our motorcycle. Yeah, that's good. Are you the co-pilot? Yeah. Pilot, uh, the co-pilot. I didn't know it was it's going to keep getting flatter, probably. This is bear spray. That's what we're using it for. Put it down. Oh. What? What's going on? Are you doing that? Uh, it was on cruise. It started surging. I don't know. If Get it off the cruise. I don't know if it's the cruise or what. Are we running out of gas? No, I know my motor home. No, you don't either. We threw that car down. I'm hoping it was the cruise control doing this. Stumbling. We, we need to find a gas station. It's like it's surging on fuel or something. Well, it's still surging a little bit on. It's not bad. I guess we're going to pull in the gloves here and see what's going on, maybe. It's stumbling a little at times. Yeah, I don't know what. It did it one time to us, had the concrete fall going a hill. But, I mean, we've been driving now for nine hours and it hasn't done it at all. Is it getting hot? No. I'm going to give it a bunch of throttle here. I'm in the throttle hard. That doesn't seem to make it worse. And that's it's... when we run out of fuel. <laughs> Maybe it's a throttle position. Maybe. I don't know. What is it doing? It backfired. We may just like let it cool off for a little bit here. We're probably right. I think it's getting really hot because that gauge has been on normal the whole time. What if we turn the air off? Okay, let's see how it takes off here. Surging a little bit. Well, I mean, sometimes vehicles like vapor lock, could be vapor lock. What's that? Could be the fuel getting hot and vapor lock. Look, 509 a gallon. That is the most I'll have paid for fuel probably in my entire life. That's 
Look at this, look at this field. That's soybeans. Soybeans? Well, it seems to be running fine sitting here taking it easy. I don't know what's up. I just hope it goes away. Well, all the pieces seem to still be here. Hard to tell in these fuel injective ones what's wrong sometimes. All our bearings and casings seem good. All the fluids look good. Let's see if it does anything weird here. Well, let's hope it goes away. Or it could be just getting hot like the gas, you know? Maybe. We'll put some cool gas in it. You gotta push the 87 button there. Okay, now you put it in there. Then you give it a squeeze. Then you watch all your money disappear. Well, I don't want to make them worry, but I'm a little bit worried. We're 460 miles from home, and we don't know what's up, so hopefully it'll clear up. Hopefully. We still had a quarter of a tank left when we pulled in, just about a quarter of a tank. 119.50. Let's check our fuel mod. Wait, it's still going on. Look, it's still going. They're charging me for the drips now? That's stupid. We just got 9.1 miles a gallon. That's kind of incredible for this thing. Jeez. Are you talking me into fruit, fruit baby? I love fruit. I don't really know what to check because it's fuel injected. So and what I would check is see if it has fuel pressure. I don't have a fuel pressure checker. I don't have a scan tool to check the code, so. Start up, let's drive. Hopefully, maybe the fuel's getting hot. We put cold fuel in, we're good. We'll see. Started. Let's see how this goes. It's getting so flat out here. It's getting good so far. I think we're going 60. We're probably five miles from where we were on the interstate. It's weird to me that when it was doing it, again, more throttle didn't bob more. Like it was not. It's odd. At least you brought your ball, huh? Well, it looks like our screws have rusted off this hinge from all the water damage from before. So I pulled them out and I'm gonna screw the door back on. So hopefully it doesn't fall off going down the road anymore. We got our little generator run. We got the AC going in there. Gonna eat us some lunch before we get back on the road. I'm checking out the map here. My dad raised me on bread and bologna. What am I gonna say? So we're gonna head towards Kansas City. Hopefully we make it to Kansas City tonight, which is farther than we thought we would make it. We were just hoping to make it here. You don't want your mayonnaise and mustard mixing, even though you're gonna eat it, right? I'm going to take a whiz. <laughs> Why? We need to know. This window's been rattling like crazy going down the road, so we're gonna go ahead and do a long-term fix on it. Good to go. 
like what 500 miles in close to it something like that can we turn like around and go home i don't know <laughs> scooty's ready to get back on the road well, we got some baloney in us we're out of here all right kansas city here we come uh, we didn't even get a a two class of red player for uh missouri huh? we somehow missed red player we're going over the Missouri, Missouri River. River. You think this bridge can hold us? Yeah. No. Yeah. Probably. No. I'm being a boogie boogie king. Look at that. Look at that eagle. Is that clean as his eagle? He needs it. Yeah, he needs one of those. Mom's over here trying her best to find us somewhere to stay tonight. Are we going to end up in a Walmart parking lot? It's taking my time. Just keep driving. Don't worry about me. Are you car sick or sick of being in the car? Both and mostly sick of being in the car. <laughs> well, this is a drive day, so there'll be a lot more stuff to do on days or later in the week. Man, it looks so different out here from what we're used to. This is the first big hill for a while now. It's been pretty much flat for hours and hours. It's not stumbling. No, it's doing good. The campground selected reserve. Hopefully it's been the route that we're supposed to go. Right. It only took an hour. Shut up. <laughs> I just noticed we still have the for sale sign paint on the windshield of this oh, thing yeah. and we're on a 5,000 mile trip in it. <laughs> we may have to rewrite it. Yeah. <laughs> you ready to get out of here? Well, it's only been, what, 11 hours driving now? Only three more weeks of this. We haven't been in this. So what can I Let's let them do the navigation. We'll be fine. Yeah, we'll let them navigate from now on. This is Kansas. Keep boys like Mexico. Yeah. Enjoy my earlobes. Yes, it's Kansas City. Kansas City. What is this? Wines Brothers. Yes, they sell wines. Look at the size of the silo. Wow. Love it. This speed on is reading slower than what we're actually going because we got the taller casing. So we're probably knocking down closer to 10 individuals. We can drive around California then. China Super Buffet. Please. I love Chinese. I'll take you out to eat on this trip. Okay, folks, you heard it here first. Maybe not today. <laughs> or maybe not tomorrow, but sometime, huh? We'll get there. It's a drive day. What? A piece of chill. Bye, my volleyball. This thing is falling apart as we drive. What have you got us in? I don't know. So we've had to duct tape the windows shut. Yes. We've already lost the shower door. Yes. We've already lost the trim. Yes. Seriously, we're, this is not even the end of day one yet. Okay. There's something else you don't see in Tennessee. Look at all the solar panels, guys. Oh, Look, these go on forever. Why are there so many solar panels? That's how they get their electricity ties. Wait, so they don't have it for like the, you know, like electricity places? Where does our electricity come from? Electricity how do they make electricity? A nuclear radiator. Pretty good, Ralphie. So we're going to Arrow Rock Historic Sign. Yeah. Hey, if it's a brown sign, I'm in. We're on the original Lewis and Clark trail that they went on. What did the Louisiana purchase that they... No. Are you guys glad to be off the road? Yeah. Yeah, she got stretched a little bit. You got the Ooh. AC blowing already? No trees to climb. Awesome. No climbing trees. You know how that ends up. Scooty's setting up a perimeter for us here. He keeps us safe. I'm going to go skate to the nearest um, playground. Just so you can mark Georgia off. We drove through it. We drove through Kentucky, the corner of Kentucky. We drove through the bottom of Illinois. 
Yep, and we drove through all the way across Missouri today. That's all for today, but we're almost to Kansas. We drove through five different states today. Not all the way across, but parts of five different states. Ain't that crazy? Yeah. Let me get some shots. Okay. <laughs> we made it 620 miles today. Is that what you had planned, average? I didn't think we'd make it this far. <laughs> I can't believe it did that good. I mean, just a sputter or two. It scared me to death. Did it? Oh, I was, I was biting bullets when we was leaving the loves there or whatever, hoping that it wasn't about to break down on us, but I don't know what that was. you know, I don't get very nice when you break down. That's true. She's a tall train wreck. Daddy? Yeah. Oh gosh, I'll never catch this. beautiful wouldn't it man this is nice i, lo I always love being at campsites I know, it's the best. 600 miles away from home at a campsite in a 31 year old motorhome well you finally got the fire going huh yeah you about sleepy no. <laughs> you having fun by the fire scooty let's go to sleepies i'll see you guys in the morning we'll head back out to kansas i guess huh love you guys you. good night well, it's 5.30 the next morning. Everybody else is asleep. I barely slept last night. I woke up at midnight. About every hour I woke up. Pretty much nervous as a cat about this trip. I do not want to have a big breakdown on the side of the road and be stranded everywhere with the family. I'm trying to get over my nerves about this. I'm not really worried about me. I just worry about having to hop on the motorcycle and leave them in the camper somewhere on the side of the interstate. That's what I don't want to do. It just worries me if I bit off more than I can chew with this trip. I was basically making myself sick last night. about panicked about it. Hopefully we have a good day today and uh, I can feel better about all this. Me and Wawa are always the first ones to get up. <laughs> Nothing's loose. It's very cold. You finally woke up? I was just laying there awake for like five minutes. Oh, well, we're all up now. We've had breakfast. I've been doing some editing for, and uh, we're gonna try to get on the road now. Okay, so we've been studying the map. We're gonna go into Kansas City and then up through Omaha, Nebraska to Sioux City and then over to the Asheville Fossil Beds. And then from there, we will be heading up into South Dakota. Right, you guys ready to get back on the road? Yeah. To our favorite part. Oh, now <laughs> the dump station. You ready? Oh, no. No. Okay, go. Was that everything you guys had hoped it would be? Yeah. There's actually some old historic buildings over here. I wanted to see real quick while we were here. I believe this stuff was built in the 1830s. Oh, that's a jail house over there. So we're right here on Main Street. Man, this is neat. I love these uh, sidewalks, these wooden sidewalks like the old western towns had. This is our first wooden sidewalk, huh? Look, mercantile, country store. So this has the bank, Ralphie. Post office. Ta look, that's the tavern over there. Yeah, I'm a sucker for any sort of like western history, cowboy town, stuff like that. So this is right up my alley here. Well, here you go for you sign readers like me. It says there was a building here in 1813 or 1814 is when it started. All right, let's get back to it. Look at how wavy the brick is up there from age. So is this Blackwater, Missouri? Oh, I love it. Can we go in them? Well, then, well, then everybody's it's so early. Right? We're up at the crack of dawn. Oh, there's another windmill. Super cold. Yeah, we're up at the crack of dawn. This is really pretty. You know, it was probably built in the 1800s. Out of the cornfield onto the highway? Back to the interstate, 70 west. Well, I was gonna try to make it to Kansas City on this tank, but we're down to the fumes now, basically. I don't wanna push it out here, it's going nowhere. Well, that one's $119, and I figured it up. We got eight and a half miles to the gallon, so we're still doing pretty good. I'm pumping gas for two seconds, and look what y'all do. What, we got nerds. Ice cream. What's that? I see my iPad. Baton something. Thank you. Ice cream. 
Oh no, you dropped your ice cream, squeeze? It still has some on it. Well, now we're all jacked up on sugar. Let's hit the road. I seventy and Jeff seventy one. Oh, that's where we were at. Yeah, 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 that's can you even see them? Woohoo! Number five. People have an airplane in front of yard. Why don't we have an airplane in our front yard? Brad, use that helicopter. I drive down the You can't even drive the lawnmower. I can too drive the lawnmower. What is that, like an old go kart track with lights or something? Uh, I don't know what that means. Like Christmas display go kart track? Is that a baseball stadium, I guess? World Series. What do you think we can see? How far do you think that is? A hundred miles? Yeah. From? We have a blown bag on this side or a leaking bag. We were really leaning over this way. So we let the air out of this bag trying to level it out. Hopefully we don't have anything rubbed from that. We got 8.7 miles a gallon, so about the same as last time. Yeah. Our cigarette lighter stopped working. Can't take mom nowhere without a cigarette lighter. I'm trying to figure out why it went out. We must have popped a fuse because it's still all plugged in, right? So we got 12 volts on that side, but not that side on this end. Do we have extras? Yeah. 
my tool bag probably i think if you touch the tops of these you have voltage on one side and on on the other you're blown it's like that right there no you should have power now no i fixed it yay well hopefully this thing rides a little better now i don't have that gangster lean we haven't used a drop of oil this whole trip there's our first injectors I've seen so far seem to be plugged in. I know. Well, that right there will cause it. I guess when we took the doghouse off last time, checking stuff out, we had actually pulled a plug wire. So we've been running on seven. It's not running right now, so they'll do it tonight. I love going to I like the atmosphere. We're in South Dakota! Okay. Woo! I'm glad I taught them something good. Yeah. So this last tank, unfortunately, we got 6.3 miles a gallon because it was down a cylinder. I didn't even notice it, honestly. I told you. Worst mileage yet, though. Needs to be covered with buffalo. So that's what I think of when I think of like the buffalo and the plains. Yeah. I think it's spraying. See the dinosaur guys in front of us? Oh, yeah. See clear dinosaur? A little smoothie hubcaps. I love the almost hell sign too. I haven't been getting any air. I just realized my, my vent again is full of this like insulation stuff. Where's it coming from? I don't know, but it's about to come out of there. This thing better blow my hair off. <laughs> After, well, it was packed what full. in the world? Well, it blew some out when it first did it. Oh my God. There must have been like an animal living in this thing in the vent. After a thousand miles or 800 miles, am I finally gonna have air? Oh man, it's still a little bit. Look at all the stuff that's in here. It's still coming. What was living in our vents? Look, it's still coming out. It don't smell like an animal though. No, it doesn't smell bad. What the heck? Tell us. So <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> There's so much stuff coming out of vents. Oh man, I've got air. I have my own air conditioning now. Watch the video. There's like a whole handful of it in there. Cargo was a So we are leaving Sioux Falls, South Dakota now, headed towards Rapid City. There's a mammoth site there, Mount Rushmore, and Deadwood Cowboy Town. So that's the plan. And mom has started the process of finding us somewhere to stay. It's hard. And we're switching lanes, guys. Oh Lord, there's probably gonna be a whiffy loop. Woo! No, no. Oh, here you go. Oh, that feels weird. Oh my gosh, it's like driving a water bed. Oh my gosh. I don't think that's a teepee. It looks like a teepee to me. Well, they don't have a thing up there. I think it normally does. Corn Palace. It's two miles. Right. It's like know. a like store full of corn. corn <laughs> if it is, I'm literally gonna cry. A corn palace. What the name is? It stumbled again. Twice now. Stumbled, fumbled. It seems to do 
do it like when we take off from a red line or something after you've been driving a long time. I don't know what it is. It's probably rows of corn inside of a building. Yeah. Why is it stumbling? Why does it do it when we get off the interstate no, or whatever? When we get off the interstate, it's, it's been driving a while. It's, it's, what? How many of you went to the corn palace? Corn palace. Corn palace. It's a corn palace. What is this? It's like a literally palace. Oh, I'm new Megan. Oh, oh. It's oh. funny, it's stolen back. No camera thrust on this vlog. Man, they make a hard person. Look at those big casings. I hope she stops someone. <laughs> I don't know what that is. No, must have died. Uh, why are they circling over the motorhome? We're gonna leave the hood up, let her cool down a little bit, and we'll walk over here to the corn palace and see what's going on with it. So, is that all corn? The corn palace. Who knew? Right here it says circus. Under the big top, world's only corn palace. Elephants? Oh my gosh, it smells like corn. It smells like corn. Yeah. Look at that old farm tractor over there, Ralphie. Columns are like pieces of corn. What about it? Oh my god. It's a store in here, but I guess they do play ball and stuff. This is really neat. They're going shopping. I'm more of a sit here and watch the History Channel thing. I really hope that motorhome doesn't keep stumbling like that. I'm really worried about it. Once again, I don't want to talk to them about it, but I'm super worried about it. I don't want to get out four days from home and get broke down this big thing. Oh my gosh. Tourist trap right here. Well, the Corn Palace is pretty neat, huh? You like tourist trap stuff? Let's go check on the motor. Home. You got you a dream catcher. You love those, don't you? What color is it? Oh, wow. Match your shirt. I think I'm gonna stop by the parts store real quick and get like maybe something to check the fuel pressure, a couple things it might need, maybe a scan tool for OBD1. The destination is on your right. Auto so we bought us a fuel pressure gauge and spare coal and some spare transmission and fuel hose for high pressure. And maybe uh, we won't have to use any of it. Something I've never looked at is that, does the check engine light work? No, that's a no. I think I'm going to top it off with fuel again here just in case the fuel's getting hot. It seems to do it late in the day when you've been driving a long time. So you think the fuel's just getting hot or something? It just seems like a fuel issue, doesn't it? Maybe a uh, half a tank of cold fuel will help. We got 9.7 miles to the gallon again, so we're doing good on fuel mileage. They're huge. They're huge. Well, we've been heading down the interstate at 65 on this gauge which is probably about 70 and uh this thing's been doing just fine so far it's it's really odd how it does it seems to only do it at slow speed it's so close to the interstate like it's gonna chop our roof off up here <laughs> oh my god look how big that is it's wow isn't that crazy you want me to see that mama 10 will you survive it no no Five, ten more minutes on the road today. So we've been on the road about 12 hours today, I guess. Yeah, Yeah, earlobes too. Look at all them hay bales. I don't think I've seen as many hay bales in one spot. Well, we made it to our exit. It's first come, first serve, so we'll see if we got a spot. Oh my gosh. Uh, they have porches? Maybe we're on the wrong side or something, because these people live here. We might be living here. I hope not. I guess uh, you put your money in your box. We may be the only people that don't live here. I mean, we got a porch next to us here, but I guess this will work. Okay, have fun. Squeezy's already in her skates. We got handwritten envelopes here. Another pretty sunset. I promise we're not going to drive this hard every single day. I think we got about a three hour drive and then we can start seeing some stuff. Hot dog time. Yep. Ralphie is going to take the inaugural shower in the motorhome because there's no shower house here. Ooh. Pretty cold? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cold. <laughs> That's one good white cold. 
I didn't even like. Wa I just wetted my bag. I couldn't wash it. We gotta get that propane water heater working. Oh please. Did you get you a cold shower? That was terrible. Uh, I'm the last one. I'll get in there and try it myself. Terrible. Well, I love you guys. Good night. What'd you think about today? I love seeing the rolling hills and the wind turbines. The corn place was cool. Yeah, it was cool. Tomorrow the plan is less driving, more stopping doing stuff. So hopefully the mammoth site and Mount Rushmore and Deadwood, South Dakota, if we can fit all that in tomorrow. If not, we may just have to stay the night there and do it the next morning. Close. We'll see how much we can do tomorrow. You are the best. I Good night, Squeezie. She's the favorite today. <laughs> How'd you enjoy that? That is like taking a shower in a water slide so good in there. My head's touching the ceiling to take a shower. Uh, 1,185 miles so far. <laughs> What's in your hair? See you in the morning. Well, there you go. There's the first 1,200 miles of our journey. Tried to cut out as much as I could and make it as short as possible, but I still could only fit two days into making an hour-long video. I didn't want it to be forever long. So stay tuned for part two of this where we continue our trip in our $1,200 motorhome. But as always, we really appreciate you guys watching. If it weren't for you guys, we couldn't do what we do. Thank you so much. Check out our second channel, Sleeper Dude 2. And check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at SleeperDude88. You guys know the deal. Make sure to eat your Vianas. Drink your RC Colas. They're like vitamins. Can we make it the whole way and back home? We'll find out in the next video.